Arnold drew his overalls and raveling gray sweater over his naked body. In the other narrow bed, his brother Eugene went on sleeping, undisturbed by the alarm clock's rusty ring. Arnold, watching his brother sleeping, felt a peculiar dismay. He was nine, six years younger than Yuji, and in the waking hours it was he who was subordinate. To dispel emphatically his uneasy advantage over his sleeping brother, he threw himself on the hump of Yuji's body. Get up! Get up! he cried. Arnold felt his brother twist away and saw the blankets lifted in a great wing, and all in an instant he was lying on his back under the covers with only his face showing like a baby, and Yuji was sprawled on top of him. What's the matter with you? asked Yuji in sleepy anger, his face hanging close. Get up! Arnold repeated. You said you'd pick peas with me. Stupidly, Yuji gazed around the room as if to see if morning had come into it yet. Arnold began to laugh deliriously, making soft snorting noises, and was thrown off the bed. He got up from the floor and went down the stairs, the laughter continuing like hiccups against his will. But when he opened the staircase door and entered the parlor, he hunched up his shoulders and was quiet because his parents slept in the bedroom downstairs. Arnold lifted his twenty two caliber rifle from the rack on the kitchen wall. It was an old lever-action Winchester that his father had given him because nobody else used it anymore. On their way down to the garden, he and Yuji would go by the lake, and if there were any ducks on it, he'd take a shot at them. Standing on the stool before the cupboard, he searched on the top shelf in the confusion of medicines and ointments for man and beast, and found a small yellow box of twenty-two cartridges. Then he sat down on the stool and began to load his gun. It was cold in the kitchen so early, but later in the day when his mother canned the peas, the heat from the wood stove would almost be unbearable. Yesterday she had finished preserving the huckleberries that the family had picked along the mountain, and before that she had canned all the cherries his father had brought from the warehouse in Corinth. Sometimes on these summer days, Arnold would deliberately come out of the shade where he was playing and make himself as uncomfortable as his mother was in the kitchen by standing in the sun until the sweat ran down his body. Yuji came clomping down the stairs and into the kitchen, his head drooping with sleepiness. 